Hey, Silk, here's that list of community service projects we need for class. Great, man. I'm ready to do anything for charity. I love giving to the community. Oh, what's it pay? <laughs> Silk, you do it for nothing because you want to help people. I know that. Not even tips. <laughs> OK, how about this? Um, big Buddies. Oh, yeah. That's one of those programs where you spend time with a little kid. Oh, that'd be fun. We could teach our little dude to play hoops, you know, go fishing. Yeah. And I can teach them everything I know about the ladies. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the first 10 seconds. <laughs> Man, I am so pumped for our next game. If we win this one, we're going to the playoffs. High five. All right, low five. <laughs> Any five? What is wrong with you guys? I mean, if we beat the Mustangs, we're in the playoffs. Antonio, you're new here. Obviously, you've never heard of... The Mustang Jinx. Deering hasn't beaten the Mustangs in 11 years. But they only won one game this season, and that was a forfeit. I mean, there is no way they can beat us. No way. <laughs> oh, you naive little hombre. <laughs> Look, this Jinx is for real. Whenever Deering plays the Mustangs, some weird, spooky thing happens and we lose. Yeah, last year we got crushed. Everyone loses once in a while. No, the backboard fell on us, man. We got crushed. <laughs> you know what? This year's gonna be different, all right? We're gonna beat the Mustangs Friday. This Friday? Yeah. You mean Friday the 13th? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. This is Daniel. He's our new little buddy. Hi, Daniel. I'm Mary Beth. This is Christy and Julie. Oh, Daniel, you are so cute. <laughs> you know what? If I were 10 years younger, we could go out. Thanks, but I already have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, everyone, bring it in. Daniel, why don't you sit over here and watch practice? <laughs> Today, I want to work on... Ooh, what died and who's wearing it? <laughs> Folks, that might be me. I'm wearing this to ward off the Mustang Jinx. And any chance of ever getting a gal. <laughs> Gal. <laughs> Never mind. I keep telling you guys this Jinx thing is all a bunch of hooey. <laughs> hooey? <laughs> okay, funny people. <laughs> Want to run laps? Well, then how come the first person to touch a ball two days before a Mustang game always gets injured? Ever hear of a coincidence? <laughs> now, no more Jinx talk. Let's get started. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Ow! Oh, my dick! Explain that, Mr. Hooey Man. <laughs> okay, Daniel. We got the whole day together. It's just three dudes on the move. Oh, yeah! <laughs> what do you want to do first? Let's go to Vegas. Okay, how about we start with some video games first? Okay, let's play out one. Bet I kick your butt. No way, the butt that will be kicked will be yours. <laughs> you guys are both crazy. I am the king of kicking, and I am the king of butts. <laughs> that didn't sound right.
Daniels. I know it's not Christmas yet, but Silky Claus has come to ten. To me? <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is awesome. I'm going to win you next game. <laughs> Good, because our ball boy can't show up without his uniform. What? I'm going to be ball boy? All oh, right, I can't wait to tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when you talk to her, tell us she's got a really great kid. I better get going and get that big report due. Oh, no problem. All right, Daniel, see you tomorrow. <laughs> this kid is too cool. <laughs> Michael, we'll play another game when my mom gets here. I'll let you win this time. Oh, you're on. Let's go. Hey, Danny, you ready to go? Just let me finish this game, Mom. Okay, but hurry up. Hi, I'm Michael Manning. I'm one of Daniel's big buddies. Oh, nice to meet you, Michael. Danny talks about you and Silk all the time. Oh, well, we think he's great. Oh, I gotta tell you, I'm just so glad that he got the right kind of big buddy. Oh, I know what you mean. It must be hard for you letting him be with strangers, but... Look, I want you to know that you can trust us. Oh, well, thanks. But, you know, I have a friend who, um, wasn't so lucky. Oh, what do you mean? Well, her son got a big buddy who was, um was black. Huh? Oh, I have nothing against blacks. It's just that I don't want that kind of influence around Danny, you know? Uh, you know, I should tell you. Okay, Mom, ready to go. Okay, we'll say goodbye to Michael, and don't forget to say thank you. Okay, thanks, Michael. See you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. And again, thank you so much. Come on, kid. Daniel's mother said that? Are you sure you heard her right? Yeah, I mean, maybe she said she didn't like Shrek people, not black people. <laughs> I'll take this one. Huh? So what'd you say to her? I didn't know what to say. I was shocked. What'd you say to Silk? Uh, I haven't exactly told him yet. He's gonna be so hurt when he finds out. <sighs> this makes me so mad. That is so racist. Daniel's mom doesn't know a thing about Silk. How can people be like that? Look, what am I supposed to tell him, you guys? I don't know. I don't know. I got it. Tell him the Big Buddy program has a new rule. We have to change kids once a week. You know, kind of like your underwear. Oh. <laughs> okay, everybody, listen up. I've given this jinx business uh, a lot of thought. So, I asked a friend of mine to come and help us out. Chuck? You want to come in? Hey, everybody. It's oh, nice hey, to meet hey, you. Going? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am definitely picking up a weird vibe. Guys, this is Chuck Myers. Chuck's worked for the NBA for years. He's an expert at getting rid of jinxes. Yeah, that's right. During the Olympics a few years ago, Michael Jordan lost his lucky pair of boxer shorts and fell into a huge funk. <laughs> oh, you see, he ran out and bought him a new pair of tidy whities huh? You this to work, you gotta believe! I believe! Good! Anyway, I, uh, broke Mike's jinx and he won the gold medal. In fact, this is the game ball from those oh, Olympics. No touch <laughs> Just feel the winning energy. Do you feel it? You! <laughs> I feel afraid. Good. I want everyone to put these on your heads. This guy's a freak. Is there a problem? No, no. Good. Now, spin around and hop on one foot. Jinxes hate that. <laughs> and now the chant. Jinx stinks, jinx stinks, jinx stinks, jinx stinks, jinx stinks, jinx stinks. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? I think it's working. What's going on? Hold me. The jinx has left the building. Are you sure? It's gone! Good enough for me. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Looks like you saved our season. 
We win tomorrow, we're going to the playoffs. Now let's start practicing so we can whip some Mustang booty. <laughs> in there. Jinx, 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 man, you packed me up. <laughs> that was a nice touch, wasn't it? Well, I, uh, better get back to work. I got a lot of cars to wash. <laughs> Do me a favor. When you finish waxing mine, put some of that foofy smell in there. The ladies love it. Uh, allow me. <laughs> Daniel's mom? I couldn't. Maybe if I could just keep them from ever meeting, I, I won't have to tell them. She's evil. I hate her. Racist people suck. <laughs> hey, guys. Daniel's mom dropped him off yet? Uh, not yet. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, uh, do something, all right? They're gonna be here any second. Uh, Silk, <laughs> I need your help right away. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, Chrissy needs new shoes immediately. I mean, look at those ugly things. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, look how fat they make her ankles look. <laughs> Go <and> stress me. <laughs> hey, guys. Little man. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hi, uh, you must be Miss Evans. Nice to meet you. I'm Silk. You're, you're Silk? Yeah, and I just love your son. He's like my new little brother. Well, the movie's about to start. We better get going, Daniel. Uh, you know, I just remembered. Uh, Daniel's grandmother's visiting, and um, she's expecting us. No, she's not. Don't talk back, Daniel. Sorry, guys. Oh, Mom, I want to go with Michael and Phil. That's enough. What was that all about? Look, I should have told you before. Daniel's mom doesn't want us hanging around him anymore. Why? Well, it's because she's got a problem with black people. What? I'm sorry, man. 